So literally just yesterday, Apex Twin released a new sound design software made in collaboration with Dave Griffiths, which apparently has been in development for over two decades. Can't wait to have a look. Let's download it together and let's play with it. So here we go. Sample Brain <laughs> already looks super fun with this Comic Sans font. I'm sure this is Apex playing with us. And if you go on the GitLab link over here, you go binary. So Mac Intel. So let's download it and let's have fun. Okay, and here it is. It opened on my Mac in dark mode. Uh, there is a manual here which goes into every single parameter in detail, but I just want to have some fun. It should be a quick start guide somewhere. Here it is, quick start, load a bunch of samples into the brain, which is here. Click on regenerate brain, load a loop sample into the target, and click regenerate target, press play, tweak brain. So from what I understand, you load a bunch of stuff into this uh, brain and then it tries to match it to a target that you loaded. So here I have a bunch of samples which range from full tracks of mine. Got a mix of orchestral stuff. Two more hybrid things. But I also have samples like kick loops. Mostly stuff that I did with modular. And let's see, I got some hi-hats loop. and some more random loops. And then I thought it would be fun to include uh, some samples from Poyes's cello, my library uh, that we re released with Sonora Cinematic. These are just cello samples, it's called Tratto. Which is the cello played with the wooden part of the bow. Then I got some motions. Some ponticello. I just load a bunch of those in and for the target let's start with let's say my track Glisten. Generate brain, then generate blocks. Let's play. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's keep it in stereo mode. I'm guessing normalize is going to increase the volume, so watch your ears. Ah, cool that you can use the mic input, so I guess you can do this sort of in real time. Maybe let's try and get rid of some of the loops. Let's really cool. Let's load a different target. Another track of mine generate blocks. I guess, I guess I had to click generate brain, regenerate brain when I selected only the cello samples. Oh, this is a volume knob. Handy. Let's 
slow some more samples. Let's add the snare loop and maybe let's get rid of the cello samples now. Actually, no, I just need to regenerate brain. So now it's only using snare samples. Oh yeah. Let's try with yet another target. Let's use this one. It's a very slow track. Again, for reference, this is it. Orchestral track. So let's try to see what happens here. Oh yes, love this one. Can't wait for Richard Devine to ever play with this.